Hello, it's Charlie Adam here and today I'm going to show you how did I sell one track to Jonas Aiden on Fiverr. Well, I've been ghost producing for a while. If you know me, I'm a DJ. Also, I play in the EDC and also in the Daydream festivals. Uh, my tracks got that more than 2 million plays on Spotify and I got that pretty uh, good looking ad on Fiverr, which uh, I think is one of the reasons I got my clients. Hey there. Are you looking for a cool track? I have the exact same sound you're looking for. I can make any genre you want. If you don't believe me, just ask for your free demo. If you don't like, you don't pay. And I got the Fiber Pro. So it's really cool because it opens me to more possibilities on the platform. One day I was working with my friend and I received this strange order from this guy that just came and about uh, the most expensive gig uh, right away. I was really surprised because uh, very few people do that. So I researched a little bit uh, for, for this guy uh, into his profile and noticed that his name was Anton Sanoch, uh, something like that. I noticed that it was Jonas backwards, yeah. And also he asked for a Jonas Aiden track, which was a little bit revealing for me because I know Jonas Aiden and I know that he's a YouTuber also. And maybe this was this kind of videos uh, of people that buy stuff on Fiverr and compare the prices. I wasn't sure, but uh, I just go through the work and deliver the order. After a month or so, I woke up and a friend told me that I was on the Jonas Aiden video. I was really surprised and afraid at the same time because maybe I was gonna be ridiculous somehow but anyways I just watched the video and I was surprised because it was great I was also surprised because my track was the most expensive one in the video and according to Jonas Saden and according to the comments uh, it was also the best track and starting from there many people start asking me to release the track uh, but I can't I can't because uh, even so that uh, Jonas Aiden exposed me is not my track because I already sold it to him so I cannot release that um, but I can show you uh, some uh, part of it here in the video many people ask me about the lead uh, how did I made that it was actually like this inspired sound on Martin Garrix uh, like the block sound and the reverb and you compress them together when the block uh, ends the reverb starts going up and it makes like this huge sound like and I actually used uh, many tips from Jonas Aiden. Uh, I used his kicks, I used his sub bass, like the punch in the balls, which is a really funny name. And yeah, I tried to get really close to what he wanted. I repeat, I cannot release that track, but I'm planning to make something really similar soon so I can release that. And if you want to listen to it, you can just go to my Instagram and follow me as Charlie Adam, and you will find uh, all the news about my upcoming tracks. If you decide to DM me, uh, you can. Uh, I will respond all my messages if you have any uh, questions about music uh, uh, or whatever uh, i will be happy to answer them so i really hope you enjoyed this video and follow me and subscribe and peace out